So for my oatmeal this morning, I'm just gonna cook up a third cup of dried steel cut oats. And these are quick cooking steel cut oats. Now this makes a lot of oatmeal for me. And remember, I only weigh 123 pounds, so I don't need as much food as somebody who weighs, say, 150. So don't go off of how much I eat, go off of what your body tells you it needs. So to this, I'm just gonna add a bunch of water because I don't like my oats pasty. And then I'm gonna get that cooking and then I'm gonna show you guys how I cook up my spinach and mushrooms. All right guys, so for my mushrooms and spinach, all I'm gonna do is cook up about eight to 10 ounces of these washed mushrooms. And I'm just gonna add a little water to water saute them that and I'll turn them on and then I'm just gonna season it with a little bit of onion powder and garlic powder okay now that the mushrooms have cooked down I'm just gonna add a bunch of spinach to wilt it and then it's ready to go Okay, so now that my oatmeal is done, I am going to add a little bit of almond extract this morning. I also love adding lemon extract. It makes it taste like, I don't know, a lemon custard. But today I'm gonna use almond. And then I'm gonna add a whole banana to this hot oatmeal and that really sweetens it up. And then I'm just gonna add some of these frozen blueberries. Back to my channel my name is Kiki today is another how I eat in a day vlog as you saw my breakfast is super simple I always have a big bowl of veggies and then I have a big bowl of oatmeal I love just seasoning this with a little sweet balsamic vinegar this is the company that I have ordered from for years and years I absolutely love them I will put this in the description box for you guys they have also given you a code for 15% off that you can use as well. All right, that one third cup of dry steel cut oats makes this huge bowl of oatmeal, which is why I don't make more. I cannot fit more in my stomach. So a little goes a long way. This is delicious. I love it. Tastes like dessert. Remember, you guys can follow me on Instagram at Plantable Kiki or on Facebook at the Plantable Kiki page. I do post lots of food and lifestyle inspiration there, and I post lots of recipes that I don't have videos for here, so make sure you check me out there as well. All right, so today we're gonna be going on a hike this morning, and then we are gonna be prepping our garden beds. We are like way behind on getting those prepped, but the weather's been kind of crappy, and we've been really busy, so we gotta get that going, and hopefully we'll be planting in them soon. I also got new earth runners in. I'm gonna show you that real quick, because you guys always ask about that too. All right, let's get going. Going. All right, you guys have been asking me to talk about my sandals for a really long time. If you follow me on Instagram and you watch my stories, you see that I trail run in these guys and hike and garden and bike. I do everything in these sandals. Okay, so these are called Earth Runners and these are my new ones. They just came in the mail. I'm so excited. Now, they're an amazing company. They are a small company with big values. These are all handmade and vegan. These sandals are modeled after the sandals that the Tarahumara Indians of northern Mexico where that group of people are very skilled runners they have been known to run up to 200 miles and they run in these thin little sandals now coincidentally the Mayan people also wear thin little sandals and they were runners and carriers as well and I am 50% Mayan Indian and the idea is that your feet shouldn't be needing to have arch support and all these other little supports in them that they should the muscles in your feet should be strong and able to function the way that you need them to. And then I started doing research and a lot came up on the importance of your feet being in its natural position and developing your feet muscles so that they're strong and functioning the way you need them to. 
So I found this company and I ordered a pair and it changed my running life. So my feet got stronger and stronger the more I wore them and I trail run in them, I hike in them, I do everything in them. Against my better judgment, I'm gonna show you my original pair. These are my five-year-old pair. My new one. See, as you guys can see, they are well worn. They're really dirty. This is embarrassing. I should have washed them. And this is actually the same color. They're both in khaki, but that is the current natural state of my original pair. I've worn these sandals for years. My kids have sandals. My husband has sandals. We love them. They have given us a code for you guys, and it's Kiki10 for 10% off. So I will link this company's website and the ones that I'm using and the size, as well as the discount code in the description box for you guys so you can check them out all right I am going to get changed and we're gonna head out on our hike and of course I will be wearing the new guys because I need to break them in Okay, so with my lunch today, I'm gonna have a humongous salad. This is just red leaf lettuce and some cucumber and green onion. And then I've washed some blueberries and some strawberries. Those on top. And then for a dressing, I'm just gonna use this amazing strawberry balsamic vinegar from the Rocky Mountain Olive Oil Company. You don't have to mix it with anything else. It's just strawberry balsamic vinegar. It's, it's super naturally sweet and syrupy. I love this stuff. I will link it in the description box for you guys along with the discount code for it. For my main course, I'm gonna have sweet potato with corn and black bean salsa on it. I always have potatoes and sweet potatoes already cooked up for each week. It makes meal prep so much easier. So this is just canned corn and canned black beans, a little bit of chopped jalapeno, cilantro, and red onion and lime juice. And I'll put everything in the description box for you guys. So then on top of that, I like to put this spicy raspberry sauce. So all I do is take some raspberry jelly I'm gonna take some lime. Probably a half a lime is all I'll need. Actually, after tasting it, I want the whole lime. You guys can do this to taste. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle some chili flakes in there. And then I'll put that on top and it'll be so delicious. simple lunch I want you guys to see like this size of my salad it's humongous and if you're just starting on this lifestyle and really struggling with eating salad and things like that like flavored vinegars will seriously change your life I love the strawberry one from this company and the peach one as well I will link this one and the one from breakfast I'll also link the peach one in the description box along with their discount codes and then here's my sweet potato I'll probably need a little bit more those are really small sweet potatoes but again this with that raspberry chili sauce on is really really delicious make sure you give it a try all right so I'm gonna eat my lunch and then we are going to work in the garden After we put down the weed bearer, we're gonna cover it with mulch and we can get free mulch at the recycling center down in town. So we're gonna give that a try and see how it does. And then we'll plant in these raised rows here. Okay, let's get a plant. Woo!
For the curly fries, you're gonna need a spiralizer and I'm gonna use the, where is it? Is it in here? It's already in there. I'm gonna use the thick cut tray that slides in there. I've just gotta suction this to the countertop. And I will link one of these in the description box, but you could go to like Walmart and pick one up for like seven bucks. and it cuts it into these nice curly fries. You really want me to do this part? Okay, so now that they're all cut like this, you just wanna spread them out on your baking sheet. You can also throw them in your air fryer. And I like to season them with this smoky rub. I will put the recipe for it in the ingredient, in the description box. It's basically just smoked paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, must and mustard powder, and then you can salt to taste when they're done. So, and this is what is left over from peeling or from cutting the potatoes. And my kids think these are hilarious because they look like mushrooms. So we're gonna bake these in there as well. Yep. Okay, so now I'm gonna pop these in the oven at 425, and I have convect roast on my oven, so I put it at that setting, and it just helps everything get a little crispier. But if you don't have that feature on your oven, it's okay, they should roast up just fine. guys super easy dinner and really really good I'm gonna be smothering my curly fries in cheese sauce of course you can use ketchup or anything that makes you happy and then I smothered my broccoli in cheese sauce as well I will link the video for the cheese sauce in the description box for you guys make sure you check it out I always make the one with the little bit of cashews in it because it makes such a huge difference so if you're making it for the first time definitely try it with the cashews it's really good mm -hmm. 